Live on Facebook, Evolution of Combat 4 from the Merry Hill Community Hall in Glasgow. This is our last amateur MMA bout of the night, featuring Justin Flanagan out of higher level, fighting Jell Ziegers out of Combat Brothers in the Netherlands. Justin, a uh, uh, super experienced and, and decorated striker, so going to be an interesting match. I expect a very high pace here. 
Geo just kind of takes the centre there and swarms right in. Justin does a good job of neutralising that in the clinch. Yep. Good double, double under hook straight away. And punishes him with a knee there. Looks like he's oh, going for Gio, some Gio type Gio looks to start turning around. Oh, and... Justin trying to take the back yep. here. But no, he's got the arms across there. There's no chance of a back take from there. And Gio... It was uh, slow and grindy, but he managed to get him down there. Yep. Half guard possession here. He's got quite a nice, the beginnings of a knee slice there. Yep. You can see Justin's just trying to turn, but the cage is blocking his ability to kind of build up any kind of butterfly hook or anything from there. Is that a Crash Bandicoot tattoo? Yeah. Yeah, Justin has a, a cool collection of tattoos. <laughs> old school PlayStation <laughs> Nintendo video games. Oh, and there's Knuckles as well. Nice. Some ground and pound there from Gio. Justin's going to need to start working up to the yeah, back of the face. He's, he's, going, for that bringing, he's guard. going for that rubber guard there. He could be up oh, more ground and pound. If he gets that arm through, then Gio's going to... Oh, and he gives up on yeah. it. It's very hard to kind of escape or do anything when you're crushed against the cage yep. like this. Um, your best option really is just to try and walk up. Um, and you can see the way that Gio's just kind of controlling the hips. Like that is going to make it very hard for Justin. There we Justin go. That's gets, better. There we go. See, that's what Justin needs to do. He needs to get himself built up more against the fence. But he looks mm. like he's maybe pulling the leg over for an Oma plat on oh, that. Oh, now you see Gio's getting his knee in there. Mm. Um, could again be looking for that knee slice. It's quite a tight space though, and we go through into half again. Justin just holding on there, really. Gio's going Gio to some big some, pound. Yeah. He's just chipping away at him from the top here. And using that butterfly hook to get up. Oh, see if Gio can up. get to the Gio. back. And oh, he's got one hook in and he's got both, both hooks, hooks in. Though. And he, oh, has he, has he got that through for the body triangle? Yep, and there, and he completes the body triangle. Things are getting a lot worse now for Justin Flanagan. He's trying to feed that arm through. Nearly on the bulldog choke there. Justin just defending hand fighting there oh and that's through oh and it's on the chin that's I think this M. might be it that looks tight he's got it right through he's just the only thing stopping him getting that right through the gloves he's pushing his hips right into that and we have the tap Jill Zegers wins by rear naked choke going to four and one Justin Flanagan finished in the first round It was a slow and grindy kind of advance of his position there. It was kind of a battle of attrition there, just kind of a very, a very slow takedown yep. against the cage. And then he just didn't, he didn't rush it. He just kind of slowly increased his position, half guard. He didn't do anything too flashy. He just, you know, wait for the chance, got to the back, got that body triangle in, and then was able to sink that in under the chin of Justin Flanagan. Justin did do a, a good job initially of fighting those hands on the back, but with that hand fight, it's so hard once the hand gets under your chin to defend that. And there's there's more options than people think. You've got your bulldog chokes and, and other stuff there. So uh, a, a good fight from uh, from his, uh, his opponent there. Yeah, from both Gio. of them. I think, again, amateur MMA, it's all about experience. They exactly. both, I mean, well, now we, uh, Justin goes to, on to have a 4-2 amateur record, which is nothing to scoff at whatsoever. Apparently, um, the, the best fighters end with 4-2 records because that's what I stopped fighting MMA on, so... Uh, I've heard that too, yeah. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> if you're watching from, uh, from Holland, give us a shout-out. Show your support for Jill.